have and they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For they have forces better than the house. I am ready to be the Lord, keep the house of my God, and to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in the house of the Lord. I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is his holy temple, and all the earth be silent before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful voice unto the Lord. All the earth sings praises. The hymn of praise. The sweetest name on earth. Then we'll continue on with verses one through five.
maker and creator of all things, judge of all men. You are so wonderful. You are so great. So we come this morning to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for waking us up to see another day. Father God, we thank you because you were just, you loved us so much. You loved us first. You loved us when we were in our sins. You loved us when we were out in the streets doing some of everything under the sun. You loved us. And so, Father God, we just come to say thank you. Thank you for all that you Thank you for watching over us as we slept. Kept our hearts beating while we were sleeping. And you reached out and touched us this morning. Woke us up. Some may believe it was a long clock, but we know it was you. But without you, we know there is no rise. That you are the spirit that keeps us alive. Father God, we come on this morning confessing, Father God, confessing our sins to you, to a holy God. And standing on your word that if we confess our sins, that you will be faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We believe that word this morning, Father. We stand on that word. Stand on it. Nothing else we can do but stand on your word and trust you because you've been so good to us. So, Father God, it's come lifting up this worship service to you, Father God, asking that you will be with us to send the Holy Spirit amongst us, Father God, on this morning that we may worship Jesus, that we may lift up your Son who deserves all the glory and the honor and the praise. And what he done for us going to the cross for us for dying for us for taking the penalty taking what we should have taken so we just thank you for that Father God we just continue to pray for our community pray for our nation Lord it just seems to be worse and worse by the day children Burning up children. Robbery. Murder. Over and over, Lord. Throughout the nation. Christians being murdered for their labors. So much going on, Jesus. We need you so desperately. Desperately need you. And so, Lord, we just lift up this worship service to you, Father God. Continue to pray for our pastor, Father God. Give him a word on this day, Lord Jesus. Lifting up the first family in their absence, Father God, I ask that you would give them travel and mercy, Father God, and be with them on their journey. It's lifting up the choir, Lord. Ushers, Lord. All of the officers and everyone under the sound of my voice that you will continue to bless each and every one of us. Praying for those who are sick among us, Lord Jesus. Ask that you will continue to bless them and break strongholds, Father God, that are in all of our lives. All of these things we pray in the holy and the perfect master's name of Jesus the Christ. Amen.
with the sheep and oxen. And he poured out the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And he told those who sold the pigeons, Take these things away. Do not make my father's house a house of trade. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. So the Jews said to him, What sign do you show us for doing these things? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. When therefore he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God from all that dwell below the skies.
Thank <laughs> you.